Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing my manga haul for September. I'm filming this part a little bit early because I got two really big boxes from Right Stuff today and I kind of wanted to do an unboxing since I have a bunch of volumes to unbox. There's lots of stuff in here I've been waiting for for a long time. So I'm excited to open up these boxes and see what's inside. All right, so we have a typical packing paper on top, obviously. And then we have lots of good stuff in here, if you can see it, a little bit of a sneak peek. Honestly, I feel like this was the wrong box to open first, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. So up on top, we have Seaside Stranger Volume 4. This is a BL manga that I haven't started yet, but I'm buying the volumes as they come out. On the back, he's playing a guitar, so that's cool. One Piece Volume 100. I finally have my volume a month late, but I have it now. Um, and I'm super excited for this. One Piece is my favorite series, and I'm really happy with the way this volume looks, except for, you know, the thing I complain about every time I get a volume of One Piece. But the actual volume cover is very beautiful, and I love One Piece. I'm glad we have 100 volumes of it, even though people think that's too long. Uh, it's perfectly okay with me because I love everything about One Piece. Uh, next, I'll just go with another Shonen Jump manga. And here we have Sakamoto Days Volume 3. The covers on this manga are really good. So here's this one. Got some Hanako Kun volumes in here, volumes 14 and 15. I like these covers as well. The colors really pop on here. Then we have Radiant Volume 15. Um, I'm a couple volumes behind on Radiant, but. We have a character back here who is totally not N from Dora Hedoro. They definitely are different characters. Uh, Blood on the Tracks, Volume 9 and 10. I have Volume 10 here. These covers are very similar. And yeah, I'm a couple of volumes behind on Blood on the Tracks as well. But I think I might go ahead and read a bunch of these volumes since I have four of them to read now. Speaking of Shuzo Oshimi, we have Welcome Back Alice, Volume 2 heard very mixed things about the series, but that's okay. Something very different from those. Uh, Heroic Legend of Arslan, Volume 16. I feel like we're caught up with the Japanese releases, which is why these volumes take so long to release now, but that's okay. I've still only read through Volume 5 of the series, and that was like four years ago. So then I have Die Dark, Volume 4. Haven't read the series yet, but these releases by Seven Seas are amazing. Uh, look at this color page I just opened to. I didn't even know this had color pages in it. Then I have Blackguard Volume 3 and Volume 4. So just one more volume of this to collect and then I'll have the complete series. The last volume comes out in October and then I'll read it all at once. Then I have Mob Psycho 100 Volume 9. I think this is complete at 16 volumes. So yep. Um, Tokyo Revengers Volumes 3 and 4, Omnibus 2. Um, okay, I've seen people complaining about the paper in this volume and I want to believe it's just the confusion between one of the volumes has like really nice paper and the other ones has like paper like this but this is typical seven seas quality paper like this is what their omnibuses feel like in fact this feels better than normal seven seas omnibus so I'm not sure why there's so many complaints about it because I like it like this where I can open the entire volume and read it very easily um but whatever um I think the first volume of this is in here somewhere. We'll see that it's probably in the other box. Next is volumes one through four of a series that I've heard a tiny bit about from Justy. Um, but basically this is a cover buy. So um, this is double. Uh, I think it's about acting. Other than that, I don't know much. It's about two friends, I think. Um, but the covers are really nice. So that's why I bought it. I can even get past the super ugly Tokyo Pop volume because these covers are so pretty. Next in here is Shadow's House. I'm not sure what this is. I thought it was a horror manga. It might not be a horror manga like I want it to be, but the cover looks creepy, doesn't it? So that's why I bought it because I thought it was a horror manga, but it might not be. I'll give this a try and see what I think of it. Then I have My Love Mix Up Volume 4. Uh, I feel like this volume released a long time ago, but I finally got it. Next, we have the volume of manga that I was the most eager to get besides One Piece Volume 100. And this is Volume 9 of A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow. This is the final volume. I've been waiting to read this series until I got this volume. This one released in July, and I haven't gotten it until now, but 
you know, it's fine, I guess. Another Yuri manga, How Do We Relationship Volume 6. I haven't read this one yet, but I've heard some interesting things about the series, so I want to give this one a shot as well. Uh, then I have Go For It Nakamura again. This is the sequel to Go For It Nakamura, which I didn't even know about until Seven Seas released it, basically. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy this, but then I did. Go For It Nakamura is not my favorite thing in the world. It's a high school BL. It's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my favorite thing in the world. But you know, I'll try this out because it's a sequel and we'll see what happens. And the last two things in that box uh, were Connus. I think it's how you say it. So this is Connus, Dear Mr. Rain, which I believe is the first volume. I will look it up before I actually read it. And then this one is Connus, Dear Hatter, volume one. Um, so what do I know about this? Nothing. I know the art is beautiful. The covers are beautiful. So that was everything in the first box. And now we have the second big box, which is got some more stuff in it. I feel like this one is even heavier than the first one. It's kind of funny. Everything in here is very different from the contents of the first box. First, I do have some more Shuzo Oshimi. So this is volume three of Welcome Back Alice and the first omnibus volume of Tokyo Revengers. I think this is the paper people are complaining about, but it's fine. It's just like every other Seven Seas volume. I don't know why we're complaining about this, but whatever. Um, it's nice and floppy. Next, I have Summertime Rendering, Omnibus 4. Two more volumes of this to be released before it is finished. Hopefully Udon Entertainment actually gets them out because I feel like they've been printed for a while and they're just not releasing them for some reason, but whatever. Again, nice and floppy. Let's do some hardcovers. We've got The Liminal Zone by Junji Ito. This one is tiny. I feel like this is the smallest Junji Ito hardcover manga. It's not as small as uh, Junji Ito's Cat Diary, um, but it I think it might be the smallest one after that. Let's obviously look at the hardcover. It's all right. It's not as pretty as some of them, but the actual cover of this is really nice. More hardcovers we have For the Kid I Saw in My Dreams, Volume 8 slowly collecting these as they come out. Have I read this yet? No, but you know, it's okay. And I have more of that author's work. So I have volume two. How does this go? Volume two of Island in a Puddle and volume three. Uh, then we have volume 18 of Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Edition. Next I have volume seven and volume eight, if I can get it out. A blue period. Once again, I'm behind on this series. I've read three volumes so far, but I'm going to get back into this soon, I think. I've heard that volume six is a good one to take a break at. I think it ends in arc, so yes. Excited to get two more of this. Run on Your New Legs, volume two. This one feels really thin as well. Um, just five volumes in this series, so again, I will wait until this one is all completed and then read it all at once. Next, I have more sports manga, Sayonara Football, Volume 11 with the nice pink cover and volume 12. More sports manga, but a very different type. We have Blue Lock volume two. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Next I have, I think our son is gay volume three. Not much to say about this because I haven't read the other volumes yet, but you know, I'll get there. And one I need to pick up like right now, A Man and His Cat volume six. Actually have a number on the spine this time. So that's nice. Next, I have The Witch and the Beast, Volume 9. Have I read this series yet? No, but I'll get to it. Hopefully in October, because I feel like October, I have run out of spooky, scary manga to read. So instead, I'll have to read like paranormal stuff. And I think this will probably fit that. We'll see. Lastly, in this unboxing is a series that I had almost given up on. I thought we were never going to see reprints of this series but Yen Press was very nice this time and reprinted the series. So I have volume nine, which was going for a lot of money at one point, volume 10, volume 11, and volume 15 of Barakamon. So at this point, I have every single volume except for volume 13. So I'm just waiting for that restock on Right Stuff and I'll get that one, I've already ordered it. I might get a replacement of a couple of my other volumes because some of them are ex-library copies and I don't really like ex-library copies, but I am very happy to have these. My collection of Barakimon is almost completed. We'll see if they reprint the spin-off manga. I'm not sure if they're planning on doing that. It's called Honda Kun, I think, but I'm happy with just this for now. 
So that's everything for the unboxing for this part of the September haul. Hopefully I have more clips to show you. In fact, I know I do because I know there's already another package on its way to me, so yeah. Okay, as I predicted, the unboxing portion of this video definitely had the majority of the volumes I got this month, but I do have a couple more volumes I wanted to show you. We'll go through them pretty quickly. So first I have Blue Period Volume 9. I really like this cover. Um, the perspective is really cool. Then we have Look Back by Tatsuki Fujimoto, same author as Chainsaw Man, which is right up there. I read this this month. I'll talk about it more in my monthly wrap up, but I really enjoyed it. And I'm hoping we get the other one shot releases by him in English. I know we're getting some short story collections, I think. So I'll look forward to those. I might also try and read Fire Punch. I read the first chapter of Fire Punch a couple of years ago now, and I really hated it, but I might be willing to give it a second chance now that I've read more of his works and I kind of can tell how he likes to write his stories. I might try out Fire Punch again for that reason. We'll see. Next, I have Summertime Rendering Volume 5 and Volume 6. These are the last two volumes in the series. I also read this entire series this month, so I'll talk about it more in my monthly wrap-up as usual. But basically, this is like a time loop, gory thriller manga. I really enjoyed it. Next, I have a manga I'm really excited for. This is The Spoke Rohan Kishibe. It's a spin-off of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't have any JoJo's Bizarre Adventure volumes in my collection anymore, but I do really enjoy that series. And I recently, semi-recently, watched the anime for this, um, but the anime only covers a couple of the short stories, and this will have more of them. But I really enjoyed that anime. It kind of had more of a horror feel to it than the rest of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure does. So I'm excited to see what happens in these short stories because I think some of them were adapted, but some of them were not. Also, I'm sure everyone's going to show this off, but this cover uh, is beautiful, especially the back, but the front as well. Next, I have Barakamon Volume 13. This is the last volume I needed. Right Stuff sent me this volume a couple weeks after that original clip. Uh, so now I have all the volumes. Hopefully it doesn't take me two years to actually read the series. We'll see. And the last book in this haul is going to be A Silent Voice Collector's Edition Volume 2. This contains the last couple volumes that were not included in the first omnibus. And yeah, I like this cover a little bit better than the first volume's cover, but overall still not my favorite design. It's okay though. They look nice on the shelves, kind of. But yeah, now that I have this collector's edition completed, I feel like I need to reread A Silent Voice at this point. I say that about pretty much anything. I need to reread a lot of things in my collection. But I haven't read A Silent Voice basically since I started manga collecting, so I might do that pretty soon here. But yeah, those were all the volumes I bought in the month of September. If you have any thoughts about any of these series, let me know those thoughts down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!